Hi, I'm Mr. Aquilio, the principal here at Penn Trafford High School. I'd like to welcome all of the incoming freshmen. If there's one piece of advice I can give to all of you is to get involved. There's something here for everyone, whether it's sports, music, or art, make sure you get involved. The more involved you are, the better your high school experience will be. Again, I look forward to meeting all of you. See you soon. Hi, I'm Emma, and I'm going to be your guide to the first day of your high school year. We're going to be asking a bunch of eighth graders what they're scared of, and we're going to help you figure it out. Hi, my name is Taylor, and I'm going in high school next year, and I guess what I'm scared of is getting lost and knowing where my classes are. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Abby. Uh, we are afraid of being late, tardy, or getting detention. No teacher is going to give a freshman a detention for the first week for being late, especially with the construction. And if you run, this is what happens. For the first week, teachers are really lenient with lates and tardies. They don't give detentions to sophomores the first week, let alone freshmen. In case you don't believe me, here are a few teachers to help ease your mind. I wouldn't give them a detention, um, especially on the first week. It took me about a month um, to finally figure out where I'm going uh, in the building. Hello, incoming freshmen. Uh, I am Mr. Moses, and uh, I'm supposed to talk to you about detentions. Uh, I don't often give detentions, but I will. And uh, if you give any reason at all for me to give it to you, I will give it to you. First week, I take it easy on you. Uh, I usually do not give out detentions the first week. But after that, it's free game. So welcome. Hi, eighth grade. My name is Ms. Hamill, and I am the course director up at Penn Trafford High School, and I wanted to say that we're looking forward to you folks coming up. Uh, there is no reason to have any kind of, of uh, apprehension or nerves the first week of school. We understand that the building is big, it's confusing, and we've all been there. So if you need any kind of help, don't hesitate to ask a teacher, any teacher. And um, there's nothing to worry about as far as detentions the first week for being late to a class or going to the wrong classroom. Everybody is very understanding. We can't wait to see you. We hope that uh, you enjoy your summer and looking forward to having you here at PTHS. Now that you're in high school, you have to take your classes a little bit more seriously. This is when it counts, and if you want to follow your dreams, you have to focus. Don't let your dreams be dreams, freshmen. My name is Megan Yoder, and I am afraid that I will be in the wrong lunch line, or I won't be able to sit with people I want to sit with. This is the cafeteria, and this is where you'll be eating lunch for the rest of your high school career, but hopefully not in this condition. We're undergoing some construction right now, so there are only two lunch lines. But in the cafeteria, it's all of the grades mixed together, and you can either have lunch A, B, or C. In the cafeteria, you can sit with whoever you want, including seniors, even if you are a freshman. Hi, I'm Amanda, and what I'm scared about for high school is missing the bus. Do not worry about missing your buses. The buses will wait for you. They stay later than usual for the first week to make sure everyone is on board. And the teachers show you where your bus is on the bus loop map. And not being able to have friends in our classes. So how often do you get to see your best friend a day? Just because you don't have classes with your friends doesn't mean you can't see them. Here are some examples. I see them throughout the day and we try to help each other studying over the weekends. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have friends. This is my best friend. How do we see each other, Rachel? I see you every day in homeroom and in between classes. You're ready for your first day. Now I'm handing it off to Sierra with academics. Hi, I'm Sierra, and welcome to Penn Traverd High School. Today, I'm going to tell you about the academics, including the workload, the time management, and the guidance counselors. Now, before we head to class, let's go down to my locker to learn some do's and don'ts about organization. Here's my locker. It's a bit of a mess. Hey. How'd you get your locker so clean? I use organizational skills. It's better if you keep your papers together in a binder so that way you don't lose them. Wow, do you think maybe you could help me learn some organizational skills? Sure. 
Now that my locker's organized, let's head down to class with Mrs. Smith, Mr. Bavick, and Miss Martini. I think you can expect a lot more work in the high school. It's a little bit more rigorous uh, and certainly a little more demanding. If you take an honors class, for example, you'll certainly have a little bit more homework, a lot of reading and writing. In the regular ninth grade civics classes, we don't do a lot of homework. There will be occasions where you have to work on a project at home or finish something that isn't completed in class. Uh, there will be times where we're doing a lot of research. There will be times when we're working on writing. And then there's going to be times when we're taking notes. I think it's important to always have a binder. Uh, a lot of times we're giving you papers and if you organize things by chapter, and it comes time to then sit down and study for those tests, having your notes, having your activities, everything together is very helpful. So a notebook or a binder is best. The curriculum is gonna be the same. So you're gonna be expected to learn the same stuff. But if you're in honors, you're gonna expect to understand it at a much higher level. A lot of the work that you're expected to do is done in class and we do expect a lot in class. Um, out of the classroom, uh, you're going to have significant homework and projects. A lot of the kids in my class will use uh, the paper planners and they write down what their assignments are. In my class, for my general ninth grade students, a lot of the work is done in class, so time management is huge and they need to make sure that they get stuff done in class, otherwise the workload becomes overwhelming for them, so they will have a ton of homework. It depends on if you take honors or regular. Um, I would say there's a little more expected of you in class and outside of class for both of them. That is one of the biggest problems that I have is students not being able to stay organized. Hey buddy, why are you so upset? <sighs> hey Rachel, I lost all my papers for the civics test. All I got for me now is a pencil. Oh, that's horrible man. I mean, you should really get a binder. Once you get your papers, just put them right in there. That way they don't fall out. Thanks, I'll keep note of that. I suggest getting a calendar of some kind to write down all of your assignments and making sure that you're constantly keeping up with what's going on in class, keeping separate folders, separate binders, and just being prepared for each class. Here is a guide to the guidance office. Enjoy. I'm having some trouble with my schedule. What's wrong? It may have actually scheduled a class that I don't think I can take. That's okay, you can fix it. Really? How? You can go down the guidance and uh, request a reschedule, and you can reschedule by the end of the year. Okay, cool. Thanks. Hey, you know how we're supposed to have 30 hours of community service to graduate? Yeah, what about it? Uh, I don't have any. Oh, that's okay. You can just sign up with CAP. What's CAP? It's Community Action Program. There's different projects every week, and then you can sign up for the ones you like. Cool, thanks. Yep. This ends our guide to the guidance office. Oh, hey! I didn't see you there. Well, now that you've learned about the academics, it's time to go to Jake with an inside look on the social scene. Oh, hello. Today we're going to be taking a look at the social aspect that is present here at Penn Trafford High School. Let's get started. A common myth that you do not want to fall for is the third floor. This is usually told by upperclassmen. As you can see, there is the first floor and there is the second floor. There is, well, no third floor. Let's keep going. Oh, another myth that you want to overcome is being threatened to be shoved in a locker. Look, it's not possible. Let's keep going. One thing to always remember when walking the hallways is to walk on the right hand side of the hallway or situations like this might occur. Let's keep going. You go, you go. Here's another tip. Go through the right door, not the left. Let's keep going. Although upperclassmen can tell you a lot of lies, they really aren't as bad as you think. you'll come across some kids in school known as the class clown. Uh, don't be this kid or you'll look like a fool. Uh, cheating isn't good for anyone uh, and you can get caught doing it and get your grade lowered. Uh, and you're not learning anything. Uh, don't be like him and blast your music. Uh, Turn it down a few notches. Okay, look. 
in-school suspension is not worth it, and you get fined three hundred dollars. Use your brain. Dude, check out this new chain I got. <laughs> yeah, um, bragging is something that will catch up to you soon enough. Uh, nobody likes to hear it but yourself. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. Did you hear Tony got fired from his job? He did? Yeah. It's crazy, man. Hey, did you hear Tony set a fire at his job? He set a fire? I thought he got fired from his job. Um... Telling rumors, it's not that good of an idea. Most of the time, well, they're wrong. Let's keep going. Hey, do you know where room 118 is? Yeah, it's down in the basement. But there's... Yeah, all right, okay. Here's the tip. Uh, don't do what he just did. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Remember, stay classy, Pinch Rapper. Hello, 8th graders who are going to be freshmen uh, next year. Today we prepared a video for you on the freedoms you get in high school. So if you just follow me, I can show you the electives we ha you have freshman year. Yeah, well, you get to pretty much pick whatever you want for them. Like, hey, like you can pick, if you like music, there's chorus, band, and there's like a bunch of different things within that. Or if you like art, there's sculpture, ceramics, like painting, drawing, like any type of art. Today, I got some extracurricular stuff to talk to you about also. And extracurriculars, you know, they're a big thing. Got them after school, but I'm not good at explaining them, so I got Travis to uh, explain them to you. Um, I think extracurriculars are a great way to get yourself out there and meet new kids. It's, it's a great way to get involved. And down the line, it also helps in colleges because colleges love to see kids that take extracurriculars. So I definitely recommend uh, getting involved, seeing what you can do. So in the high school, you got this BYOD policy. And what that means is that you can bring your own device. And you can use that in classes and study halls. And usually whenever you finish tests or sometimes to help you on projects and all that for schools. But one really good place you can use your device is the coffee shop. So I got Brendan here to explain what what the coffee shop does. This is the coffee shop located inside of the library. You can come down during your study hall and purchase any of the following. Coffee, hot tea, apple cider, hot chocolate, water, cookie, or cappuccino. All purchases go to charity. Now here's Mr. Conrad talking to us about the library. We have five uh, small group study rooms that hold up to six people, maybe more if we put additional chairs in. And so if you have small group projects to do for your class, your teacher can reserve those rooms and then you can come in and use them. We have 48 computers in the pit. It's handicap access with a ramp. So if anybody would be in a wheelchair, they can, they can get there and use the computers. Uh, we have a soft seating lounge area that the students like to take advantage of. Uh, we have about 6,000 books here. None of them are really more than about six or seven years old, so everything's pretty current. The books, it's just like in the middle school, you can sign out books. Hello, eighth graders. So also in the high school, one of the freedoms you get is you can carry your backpack with you carry your binders, books, lunch, gym clothes even. Uh, and what that means is like you got a locker, but you really don't need it as much as you did in middle school, which is great. Cause like, if you're like me and your lockers are in some really random place and it's like just out of the way to go to, just carry all your books and binders with you and you just ski down on to your next class. So now that you know about the freedoms, the social, the academics, in the first day, we hope you know what you're doing and we wish you good luck.